Pipedrive's Insights feature helps you get a live overview of the health of your pipeline and the revenue coming through, as well as everyone's performance. And this will help you make informed decisions. To access Insights, simply click on the icon in the left-hand sidebar. Here you'll find the three main sections, reports, dashboards, and goals. Reports offer visual representations of your data, filtered to your preferences. Dashboards consolidate your reports and goals conveniently in one place. Goals allow you to map out desired outcomes for easy tracking. Before delving into reporting, though, let's manage who can access your insights. So first, let's talk about visibility. You can adjust what you see in Pipedrive by going to Manage Users and Visibility Groups. Right now, there aren't any visibility groups for viewing things in Insights. When you set visibility for a user on anything like leads, deals, people, organizations, or products, it also affects what they see in Insights. For example, if a user has owner-only visibility for deals, they will only be able to see the Insights data related to the deals they own. They'll still be able to see the charts and collective data, just not the specific items they don't own. Now let's touch on permissions. Users with deal admin access have complete visibility of all deals and leads, regardless of the visibility group settings. Similarly, users with the global admin access can see all person, organization, and product data, regardless of the visibility group option. However, you can customize the permissions for regular global users by going to the Manage Users, Permission Sets, Global Feature, Permission Sets. In the visibility section, you'll find the two insights permissions. The C company stats and insights permission enables users to access the entire company stats and insights, regardless of their access to specific items. The C other users stats and insights permission grants access to the other users stats and insights, regardless of their access to specific items. Now let's touch on reporting. Let's get started and create a report. You'll find a variety of templates available to you to choose from, but before that, let's explore how to create a report from scratch. Click here, then select Report and choose from the options provided. Remember, your access to certain types of reports may vary depending on your subscription plan. However, all plans will enable you to generate reports for your deals, leads, activities, and emails. As an illustration, let's walk through creating an activities performance report. And here's where you can rename the report if you want to. But next, your report is divided into three sections here. In the filter view, you can establish the conditions for your report. For instance, you could choose to view all activities from the past year. If necessary, you can also add additional filters to further refine your report. Next up is the visual builder section, where you can visualize your data using charts. You have the flexibility to change the default column chart view to a bar chart, pie chart, scorecard, a table, all that kind of stuff. And additionally, you can further customize the report by adjusting the measure, segment, or view. Simply hover your cursor over any column in your chart to get a quick overview of the data it contains. And here, you can also select the number of columns per page. This feature comes in handy, for instance, if you're interested in viewing data by contact person and only need those whom you've scheduled the most calls. You also have the option to personalize chart colors. Here you can choose a new color for any segment of your report. Besides system colors, you can click on the arrow under the custom color to pick a unique option. Once you're satisfied, click done, and your new color will be saved under my saved colors. You can edit any saved color by clicking on the pencil icon next to it. Now after assigning a new color to a segment, simply click save and the color will be applied to your report chart. Now at the bottom of the page, you'll find a table view, presenting your data in a spreadsheet-like format. Click Summary for a general overview of your report's data. To modify visible columns in the table view, click the gear icon on the top right corner. And for downloading a spreadsheet with your report's data, simply click Export. After you've created and tailored your report, don't forget the Save button in the top right corner. Now let's talk about goals. They're great for setting targets and keeping everyone motivated. Every user can make their own goals, while managers can make goals for their team. Admins can set goals for the whole company, teams, or individuals. Goals can come from reports on deals, activities, or revenue forecasts. To understand better, let's make a new goal for completing activities. 
Depending on your role, you'll see some different options for who the goal can be for. Then we pick the type of activity, the time frame, and what we expect to achieve. Once the goal is set, we can view it, change it, add it to a dashboard, or export it. Now that we've explored reports and goals, let's move to the dashboards. Think of them as personalized collections of reports that you gather and showcase. Keep in mind that the number of dashboards you can create depends on your subscription plan. To create a new dashboard, just click here and select Dashboard. Give it a name and a section, then hit Save, and your dashboard will show up with an empty board. If you've already made reports that you want to put in this dashboard, just go ahead and drag them from the left side into your dashboard. Or you can even just open a report and click Add to Dashboard. Now, one of the pretty cool things about the Insights dashboard is that you can resize and arrange your reports however you like. Just move them around, change their size, or Delete any you don't need, but once you're happy with it, your dashboard is ready to be shared. To share your dashboard, you can either keep it within your team by sharing internally or generate a public link for external stakeholders. Your company can have several links for different stakeholders, allowing you to manage access and revoke it if needed. Additionally, you can export your dashboard as a PDF or a PNG file to save or distribute it. And that wraps it up. With PyDrive's Insights feature, you can create personalized reports, dashboards, and goals to track your progress and stay on top of your sales process.